Testing, 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 test negative. That's me. Josh. We are back. Oh, man. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm COVID yeah, negative. Instagram. 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 Thanks on Patreon. Follow the account. Subscribe if you haven't uh, hit the like button. It was, I told you this. I it, was, was, it was a joyful ride, wasn't it? My stars. Well, <laughs> the testing aspect of it. Shoved a bunch of stuff up your nose. I was, I went to the same clinic every day. Mm. Once you're past your symptoms, there's no reason to go get tested until your symptoms are starting to go away. Yeah. So you do the five days of quarantine. This is for the fully vaxxed. So if you're fully vaxxed and if you're fully vaxxed and boosted, it's the same same protocols. You stay in quarantine for five days. And if your fever's gone and symptoms go away, you can start testing again, which is exactly first four days were miserable. I couldn't taste anything then days four, five, six. But after the afternoon of day three, you count day zero, the day you test, right? After that three days, the three days was miserable, like the worst flu you've ever had. I had a great three days. I'm sure you did. <laughs> but then I got, I went to the clinic so much for the past like 10 days. Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. That they knew be my, yeah. every time I pulled up, hey, Rick. And then today, <laughs> no joke, she pulled up and she went, Rick? I said, yep. She said, positive again? I said, yep, hopefully. This is the one. She and said, I he was. It, it was. It was. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. So, um, but, it, but anyways, yes. Yeah, if so you're not vaxxed, get vaxxed, kids. I feel like I'm the only one on earth who hasn't had COVID yet. <laughs> you <laughs> may be, No, my dad. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have a, My dad has not he had COVID. Go out. He doesn't go out. <laughs> That's yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh, today we got, uh, this is actually an informational video. This is called Made in India Hyperloop. Okay. Uh, so it's a song. The song Made in India to a high. No, I'm kidding. I was gonna say, Made whoa, in what? India. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you danced for that song when you were wow. younger, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Rick hates that song so much. Oh, stop. <laughs> <sighs> but you didn't. You didn't like that song. I didn't like you it. You thought it was a stereotype. Yeah, right? I just, the, I, the video I, did have I a ton of stereotypes. Hate it. In it. I just didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is you know how um, Elon Tusk, the 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 owner of Twitter, apparently, um, you know he's trying to hyperloop, right? He's been talking about that for a long time. Uh -huh. You know about the hyperloop, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. You said his name. I don't. I I'm not a fan. I, I know. Oh, uh, no, this is not him. But okay. India has their own, apparently, that they're, they've had in the works, apparently, for a long, long time. This was just released, so there's a little information about cool. India's. I've actually always been super interested in a Hyperloop. I would love, yeah. like, one from here to Vegas. Or yes. Like... Well, they've talked about having at least something comparable to that here from Frisco to L.A., Ugh. which, come on. Ugh. We, and clean, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but like being in a basically a vacuum, yeah. they allow you to go. It says two times faster than a plane, um, which would put it you speed is beyond the speed of sound. No, it's not beyond the speed of sound because planes can go four to five hundred miles per hour. Sound is seven. Math is hard, Rick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are they talk? Oh, I know. Faster than planes, Cessnas. They're referring to Cessnas. That's true. <laughs> Here we go. If you know any information about it, please let yeah, us know. Yeah, please let us know. Mr. Urban. Urban Meyer? Jahan. The Hyperloop? A dream that many Indians like us saw? Hyperloop didn't materialize, at least not in India. But the matter did not settle yet in the government level. Our Indian Railways is finally it's so cool. to develop India's first own Hyperloop. India has shown constant efforts to develop a technology rather than importing one from a foreign country. When it comes to railways, you have a lot of examples. Train 18, Kavaj, Metro Rails and many more. Now, India will be competing with the rest of the world in the race of making its own hyperloop. The Indian Railways has partnered with IIT Madras to develop a Made in India Hyperloop facility. The project involves a oh. test track and a prototype Hyperloop pod estimated to cost around 8.34 crores. A group of 70 students of When IIT it gets up into crores, I can't do the math. Hyperloop, an effort to develop India's own Hyperloop. 
They ranked globally in top 10 in the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod competition in 2019, the only team from Asia to do so. They were also awarded the most scalable design award at the European Hyperloop Week 2021. As they approached the Indian Railways in March this year for an investment, the ministry immediately agreed to collaborate and bear the cost for this prestigious effort. Railways will collaborate to develop a contactless pod prototype and also the first of its kind Hyperloop test facility at its Discovery Campus at Thayu. In 2017, India's then oh, oh, wow. Mr. Suresh Prabhu expressed yeah, his I was like, how are they gonna... in the Hyperloop technology. Maharashtra ex so be... Devendra Fadnavis and his team even started working to get a Hyperloop in India from Mumbai to Pune and Virgin Hyperloop started working on exporting yeah, Virgin's a big player in the India Hyperloop game. And develop a track between these cities. But oh. nothing moved since then. But the center has been closely monitoring the development on Hyperloop, expecting one to develop in India. Under the project Avishkar Hyperloop, we will get a test facility that is at per with the Virgin Hyperloop in the United States, but would cost much less. The Hyperloop's low energy requirement has drawn the Indian Railways towards the project, a technology that can help to... Gotta have more seats than that though, mortality. right? For more updates on India's infrastructure, subscribe okay. to our channel, MRB. Um, have a nice day. It's so confusing. Uh, new technologies like this because mm -hmm. obviously if if planes were a new thing i wouldn't know how they work either no and i would probably <laughs> be someone who's like uh you're telling me we're gonna sit in there and go in the air and not fall out of the sky i don't think so buddy obviously there's way smarter people <laughs> yes <laughs> that knows how this technology works i have zero clue I, I, except for i understand it's basically a vacuum and that allows no resistance and obviously right. to go at greater speeds and uh and all that kind of stuff um, and I'm assuming the environmental would be equal to or hopefully less than that of a railway. I would assume so. Because it, it looks like it's just on poles. It looks like it's on poles, so it's above ground. Yeah, and so they don't have to, a lot, not a lot of economic, um, environmental uh, Correct. Uh, damage. Correct. Just poles on the ground versus total tearing up and concreting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it looks like... I, they didn't get into the technical specs as far as like the actual speed or some of the other things as far as the powering of it is concerned. Yeah, they get real fast. But it looked like you could do, if not all of the power, a majority of the power with solar, solar paneling on top. Yeah. Which makes a lot Obviously of sense. Obviously, you'd want to do it completely clean. or As clean as you can. There's no point in developing new technologies no. if they're not clean because then they'll be obsolete extremely fast and way too caught. Like, no, and I, it, it's, it excites me because... I think we're living at a transitional generation where in 25 years, we could see some dramatic changes that take place that take us away from uh, fossil fuels and yeah. make us in yes. a position where we're living cleaner. The planet is getting better. We're not, you know, first of all, the main thing that we have to do is get rid of all of the greedy yeah. assholes who yeah, are yeah, getting yeah. richer and richer <coughs> oil companies <laughs> off of the fossil fuels. Yeah. Uh, but they know their days are numbered. That's why they're trying to rake in as much as they can now. Um, but I th I can't wait for all of these to go up everywhere. Yeah. Um, it, you you got to wonder when it's actually going to be ready to be. I'm thinking max, I mean... The, the soonest is like 30 years, I'd say, before I think these could, are like regularly available. I think it could be 25. You think so? I think it could be 25. Because obviously do. it takes a lot of work to do. Yeah. If they're trying to co combine cities, it takes, it takes one, a, lot of work. a lot of work, a lot of uh, material, a lot of man hour, a lot of money. And so obviously full governments would have to be putting money into this. Yeah. Um, and I know... The Elon um, has been trying to get you know people to invest in because he's been, and Virgin's obviously Richard yeah, Branson. Virgin so. is I think the probably the biggest player in the Hyperloop game. Yeah, which is funny because they're like a budget airlines. Maybe mm -hmm. they're just trying to get in front of everybody so they could be the top person in the next. Well, thing. I'm glad to hear more about Hyperloops than I am space tourism because <laughs> for me the whole space tourism thing is no point ridiculous i mean obviously space exploration and, and maybe colonization but that is not going to be in our lifetime sadly no uh, so there's no point in not even i <laughs> like remember when space exploration was for just the discovery of new things mm -hmm. where we want to go to mars because we want to discover what's going on there we want to go to the planets in our solar system this whole thought of 
Well, we have climate change, so we're going to go find an inhabitable planet. No, you're not. I mean, we can barely, we not, don't even have a manned mission to Mars yeah, yet. Not, it definitely won't be in our lifetime. No. There's other, livable, it won't even be in your kid's lifetime. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's other livable planets, obviously. Oh, those sure. Uh, absolutely. Billions, probably. There's probably billions of them. Um, but not within our current technology's reach of our lifetimes or our kids or lifetimes. the or the timetable of what they say needs to be done to reverse the impact of climate yeah. change so yeah. it's like all that money should be in my opinion directed toward yeah. this kind of technology yeah, yeah. I, I, I i do hope we're able to do stuff like this so obviously america's always been way behind in terms of the high speed railroads and and there's yeah. many reasons for that, Agreed. but um, yeah, yeah, uh, essentially. Um, <laughs> yeah, like in California, we've talked about this before. The only reason we don't have a rapid transit system of any kind where we really do need it because we're such a huge city is because car manufacturers yeah. and dealers didn't want it. And now that if we're obviously California has been trying to do high speed rail for a long time, but now it's just so expensive as opposed to if you would have done it decades ago. Yeah. It's so could. funny. Disney put in the monorail system at Disneyland how long ago? And I remember every time I'd go to Disneyland, I'd look at it and go, why isn't this all over Los Angeles? Yeah. It's clean. It's quiet. It's above ground. And that's because yeah. car manufacturers and oil companies and now, don't want that. And now it's just way too expensive to do Exactly. Anything. Anyways, that was we'll really cool. Let we'll us know if you know any more information about this that we need to know uh, down 